everyone, welcome back. I wanted to talk this week <laughs> about change. I went to my salon this morning and I walked in and the person that usually greets me, hello Donna, how are you? Good to see you, was not there. And she moved away and I was so upset when I found out. I Literally, it was like losing a friend and you would think, well, you know, it's just someone that you see at the salon every so often. Why would it be such a big deal? But for me it was because in some ways she was the spirit of the whole place. And you kind of miss that when people go away. And so I thought, gosh, she came back later that afternoon because she hadn't quite moved yet. And I wanted to let her know, as we've talked about in these videos, you know, you got to tell people what they mean to you. And I said, you know, I really just realized when I came in here today that I miss seeing your happy face and getting a nice greeting every morning. And I hope I made her feel better. But so then this afternoon, I go and have lunch at a new restaurant that we were wanting to try here in town. And we were kind of sad that the old one left. You know, we felt really bad lamenting about the owners and this and that and the other. There was just too much competition for that type of food that they served. And so what came in was a Mediterranean place, and I'm not a big fan of Mediterranean, but it was so wonderful. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. I can tell we're gonna be coming here all the time. It's gonna be a great thing. So I thought, wow, today I have to talk about change. Change is not necessarily a bad thing, okay? And change, for some reason, we always think, if there's a change, it's gonna be a negative thing. But that's not always true. There's a lot of positive that can come out of change. If you are someone who is a control freak, it is going to be a lot harder for you to adapt to change. And I can completely understand that. Control freak type people really like to have things set up in a certain way. They don't like being, um, confronted with things that make them feel uncomfortable, make them feel vulnerable. And so when you change their routine, they don't like that. So if you are one of those people, if you are a bit of a control freak, you gotta adapt to change. Now I know people who are the complete opposite. They embrace change, they love change, they're excited about change. I'm not gonna say that I'm one of those people. I think it takes me just a minute to warm up to it but I do embrace change, and I think we should all start to really learn to embrace change. Change is not necessarily a bad thing. This restaurant that I was so sad had left got replaced by something even better, something that we didn't have in the neighborhood. We don't have any other Mediterranean restaurants, so it was just such a great thing. And the friend leaving the salon, well, I don't know. I'm gonna miss her for sure, but she's going on to Texas and she's gonna do, um, she's gonna be an esthetician. So she's gonna start a whole new career and a whole new life. And I'm sure it'll be a great positive change for her. But for me, I don't know. Maybe someone will come in who makes me just as happy to walk in there. Maybe someone will come in and be as good to me as she was. Maybe we'll have a change in prices. Maybe we'll have more opportunities for other services who knows so you just got to be a little more open-minded and embrace change don't be such a fuddy-duddy i think the worst thing you can do is not be flexible to change and i'm not saying you have to leave live a spontaneous life you don't have to be a spontaneous person but you do have to embrace change um all right i'll talk about it i wasn't going to talk about my mom because i don't know this could be a personal thing, but I know she's been sharing this with people, so I'm just gonna say it. So she's been getting older and we were wanting to find out, okay, what are we gonna do for her as far as retirement goes? I don't think it's good for her to be living alone. And from my perspective, she was very lonely, but she couldn't see that because she would occupy herself, keep herself busy. You know, once you retire, you do sort of try to find things to keep you occupied. I can relate this to people who have gone through their whole lives raising their kids and then now their kids are gone. The nest is empty and you have so much time on your hands and you don't quite know what to do with yourself. Very similar situation. So my mom was very resistant to change 
And I tried so hard to convince her that this is going to be the best thing ever. This is going to be like high school all over again for you. My mom is a bit of a social butterfly, but that part of her life had been lost somehow. And she wasn't being as social as she could be. And I could see that change happening. So we found a facility and thank God she loved it. And she moved in and every day has just been nonstop, busy, crazy. I've got this to do, I'm on this committee and all this stuff going on. She's as busy as can be. She um, is feeling better physically, mentally. She feels younger and more vibrant. Now she shares her story with folks who are coming to the facility and are kind of wanting their questions answered. So she, she's the one who guides them through and answers their questions and takes them on a tour. And so change is good. This is a great positive thing for her because when she was living at home, she was worrying about the details of things. Uh, the bills, oh, they raised my such and such bill a couple of dollars. You know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a really big deal. But when you have so little to focus on, those things become huge ordeals. So it's very important that you occupy yourself and adapt yourself to change. And this sort of goes back to my video when we talked about the comfort zone. You've got to go out there and experience the world. You cannot stay in your little comfort zone. You have to go out and see what is out there and you have to be open to change in order to do that. So if you cannot open yourself up to change, you really, really need to work on that. And you can start small, try things that you um, are not so sure of and slowly work yourself in it. Um, in that video, I talked about going to the salon and trying a different color of nail polish. Same kind of thing, folks. Start small, start building up the adaptability to change. Now listen, I live with someone who does not like change at all, nothing. He's very rigid, rigid. he's very structured. Everything is a routine, everything is a schedule. And God bless him, I love him to death, but I could never live my life like that because when something unexpected happens, it's a negative situation for him. There's a lot of anger, there's a lot of frustration, there's a lot of anxiety, and that is just no way to live. You gotta be a cool breeze. You gotta go with the flow. And if you are adaptable to change, if you open up your mind, open up your heart, your life's gonna get a lot easier. I know at work sometimes there's a lot of things that happen. I've been there 10 years and over the 10 years we've had so much change, so much crazy change that some people just can't adapt, they can't adjust. It's like teaching someone how to operate the VCR. <laughs> like it's just not going to work. So you really, really have to get out of that mentality. And I am going to say this, the older we get, the harder it is to adapt to change whether it's going to a new school, going to a new job. If there's something out there that you wanna do, but you're holding yourself back because you don't wanna go through the changes involved, you're giving yourself a great disservice. Change is good. Change is positive. If there's no change, how are we going to grow? How are we going to learn? You can't do that unless you're willing to change. All right, so I want you to start thinking about change as a positive thing. Get excited about change. Oh, you're moving? Get excited about that, okay? Sometimes we look back and we think, ah, I don't know why I was so stuck in that environment. I really didn't enjoy myself that much. I like what I'm doing now a lot better. You know, you can look back with fondness on things and then realize it wasn't as fabulous as I really thought it was going to be. So don't get too stuck in your ways. It may seem like it's the most fabulous, best thing, but trust me when I tell you, there's so much world and so much life out there that you're missing out on. So start small, 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 and then work yourself up to bigger and bigger and bigger changes. When changes happen to you, a new boss 
or, you know, I, I notice I'm a child of the 70s, what can I say? TV is my life. When I watch a show and they replace a character and they bring in a new one, do you remember Cheers? You know, when they brought in Rebecca, everyone was like, oh. And she ended up being just as good as the original Diane. Like, you gotta open your mind to that. You gotta embrace that, you know? It doesn't mean it's gonna be horrible. It doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. Think positive, stay positive, and your life will change. Look, I'm wearing orange today. I don't normally wear orange. This is the only orange shirt I have. But I thought, you know what? <laughs> I wear a lot of neutral colors in my videos. I'm gonna change it up today. I'm gonna wear orange. So change, inspire yourself by accepting and embracing change. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. There's a little button. Where's that button? It is right here, I think, <laughs> on your screen. Press that to subscribe. Uh, share with friends and do all that great stuff. We'll see you later. Have a great week. Bye.